There's Sellers. Great box out on the other end by Alexander. Wide open look for Brene Alexander for three. She earned that. She earned that by boxing out on one end. And a rebound pulled down by Myers. That's her sixth. Brene Alexander got back behind South Carolina's defense. Goes all the way up top to Lavender Briggs. Now Sellers in front. Good move by Alexander. Two points for her. Just an all-out effort play from Masonis, making sure she follows up the shot to get it on the offensive glasses. Here's another turnover for the Rams. Maryland in transition. It's Pinzon. Cuts to the paint. Has Alexander for three. Got it! Dingle all the way out to Jonathan. She tries a three. Air ball. And again, here's Sellers trying to get th free. Sellers goes up and give her two points. For Diamond and... Here's Brene Alexander finding Cheyenne Sellers who gets rewarded for running. You see that ball is going to be an air ball and Cheyenne Sellers gives to Alexander. Has some room from three. She takes one. Gets it to go. Brene Alexander. Maryland's got their transition offense back as they do from the three-point line. Brene Alexander with a beautiful shot. Can't get it to fall. Got her own rebound. Kicked it out to Masonis. She goes hard into the paint. She's double teamed. Finds Alexander for two points. Now up top. It's Dapa. Stripped away by Alexander. Sends Seller on, Sellers on her way. Fordham putting on the pressure. Here's an open Alexander. Takes her time and gets two points. Miller. Crossover. Three. On the way and good, Brene Alexander. Threes are coming for Maryland. There's Brene Alexander knocking it down. Maryland opens up a 10 point lead here on Big Ten Plus. Plank sets a screen, tries to get down low and does, but Alexander got there first. Maryland's running again. Cheyenne Sellers to the bucket, gets bumped. Make that 11 0 run for the Cornhuskers, heating it up from the outside. Maryland trying to snap the run, the drive. Brene Alexander puts it in, off the glass and good. Bourne moves away from her defenders, three of them on her, and they're gonna make sure that that ball doesn't end up in the basket. Alexander, the drive, off the glass and good. Sellers drives, it gets past Shelley, rebounded by Myers. Brene Alexander tries the three and hits. Masonis the pass for a three by Lavender Briggs. No good. Masonis gets it to Brene Alexander. The second attempt is good. 32nd timeout. Lavender Briggs. Good look from the corner, but good work from Faith Masonis in the offensive glass. Finds Brene Alexander. Sets her feet. And nothing but the bottom of the net on that one. Lavender Briggs going to try and reverse that on this possession. Brene Alexander gets the ball back. Good aggressive play from her inside the paint and the reverse layup from Faith Masonis goes. Cheyenne Sellers and the Terrapins need an answer. Faith Masonis, the bounce pass. Brene Alexander with a hand in her face, knocks it down from three. Layden had it coughed up. Briggs to Alexander for three. Purdue are hustling everywhere on the floor. You see the steal initially that co Briggs comes up with Alexander. Katie Gerald has made the most of the talent that she has. By the way, those 18 assists, top 20 in the country through the first half. Pinzon an over the shoulder pass. And Alexander pays it off with a game tying three. Oh. And finally, back on this pass, Pinzon, who's Italian, Cavatappi noodle, by the way. A little twisty <laughs> pass, knocks down the three. I mean, if you're going to get an assist, you might as well do it. And Cheyenne Sellers on skates. Alexander, a three. Puts it in. A much needed bucket to stop. Over right on time. Here comes the bucket. Nobody is even close to Brene Alexander in a white. She was not comfortable at the end of that game, turning the ball over. She has a nice command about her so far today. Three ball is good from Brene Alexander. How about Abby Myers, though, and Cheyenne Sellers, and how they've played on a day when Diamond Miller's struggling to score. Another one. 
Tried the one-handed pass, and it's another turnover. Sellers drops it off for Alexander. Got it. Looking for three. That's been their moneymaker today, Alexander. I mean, you just see switch sides of the floor and closeout is not quick. And the only seven available today for the Huskies have now all seen action. This is the biggest lineup we've seen for Connecticut on the floor. Immediately, they turn it over. Miller. And back it out to Alexander. Another three ball. Got it. Alexander. He's been making buckets. Alexander. Inside of Diamond Miller. And the basket for Diamond. UConn is at six of its eight shots here in the fourth. Alexander, good for three. Myers drives, got in trouble up in the air. Alexander, Miller, open look. Getting going here in the second quarter. Brene Alexander defended by Braun. Pass to Sellers. Maryland moving quickly again. Nice pass to Diamond Miller. The end one goes down. Diamond Miller saying, you know what? I have confidence in my ability. I'm a little bit bigger than you. I'm gonna use my body, draw some contact. Nice rebound from Briggs and the Terrapins. They get it the other way. Brene Alexander, an open three, he falls. Second three of the day. Nice defense by Sellers. And now before that, the three. Yeah, again, just a nice driving kick. Working with it, finds Abby Myers. Five seconds. They get it out for the three, and it's good. Brene Alexander knocks down the tray. And Maryland will take a nine-point lead to the half. There we see Abby Myers getting some kind of penetration. Defense collapse. Brene Alexander says, that's too much room for me, and I'm going to hit nothing but nylon. Despite a second-quarter surge from the Gophers, Maryland takes a nine-point lead to the break. Renee Alexander passes it to Lavender Briggs, who puts it in. And driving down the court, Gia Cook swings it to Renee Alexander, who has that one get the shooter's touch. B1G WBB on Instagram right now. Smichael can't knock down the three, chases down her own long rebound, a difficult shot. And family with the It's Miller Time shirts. Miller time, they're, they're waiting on her to explode here at home, and there's another steal, or deflection. McDaniel driving to the hoop, no good. Rebounded by Myers, out to Pinzon. Here's a three from Alexander, it's good! Are aggressive trying to get these boards, and Michigan State has been getting upset. Alexander, that's a great pass from Sellers, who celebrates it accordingly. What Terry Moore wants. Tips it into the hands of Pinzon. Maryland doing a good job of checking out down there. And Brene Alexander buries it in transition. That's a three. And there it pass from Bargesser. Two on one the other way. Pinzon gives it back. Really good. I mean, and they've been fighting for it. I mean, defensively, both teams scrapping for it. Alexander rolls it down, back-to-back -back buckets for Brene Alexander. Packed in here, they have drawn 7,000 plus fans on a regular basis. Alexander puts in a three, first three of the half for Maryland. And it has to be a smart bucket and very decisive. We've got to pick this Indiana defense apart and that's not easy to do. Top shot, Alexander gets it to go. Jars it loose. Open three. Yes. Renee Alexander knocking them down when they need it. Home girls on the bench. But Diamond Miller just so shifty, trying to get downhill and just nowhere to go. Kick out to Renee Alexander. Maryland just very aggressive on the defensive side, and Rutgers will have to find a way to get through that. This is Alexander, a three. It's good. Renee Alexander connects. Defense has just been suffocating. 
if you're Rutgers, when you're taking the ball to the court, you cannot take yourself into the corner. Every time they're coming up, they're dribbling into those corners. That is the danger zone. That's where Maryland. Smichael across, double teamed. Somehow finds a pass out of it. Alexander takes it away in the foul. Sellers to Myers, putting it up, no good. Miller fighting for it. Maryland's gonna get it back through Alexander. Myers cutting in and scoring. Ball handler, and that's just a great pass by Alexander to the cutting Myers. But if we get another look at the Myers coming down the court, she was running with her hands up. Back to Cook it goes. Cook driving, somehow gets it out. Alexander's gonna put up a three, it's good! We're seeing some good play out of these Maryland freshmen today. Reynolds and then Gia Cook just finding their way. This is one of those games where you'd like to tune up a little bit here as you come into Big Ten play. Sellers trying to work it inside. And that is up and good from Brene Alexander. That weren't the best looks. This is a really good Maryland defense. And it's tough to get those looks around the basket. So she's been a little bit unbeneficial of some aggressive takes. This is Alexander, pass inside for Briggs. And yet again, Maryland with a quick two after. Sellers giving it off, Myers, quick jumper, good. Deadly there from Abby Myers at the other end. This is Sellers, she's gonna take this the other way. Giving it off, Alexander, another three, it's good. I'm putting this game away. Take a look at this, Alex Alexander again. Deadly. This is Myers. Long pass across. Give it back to her. Alexander got it again. Renee Alexander cannot miss from deep. That's 20 tonight for her. Can't nab it though. A deep pass in. Alexander's able to make it work. And here comes another three point shot. And oh my goodness, Cheyenne Sellers. Spin move does not work there. And it goes right into the arms of Sellers. Cheyenne Sellers back again. Jump shot up. No good, off the rim, rebounded, and it's been put up right there again, Brene Alexander. Plus Michelova maybe trying to get a pass out, not really sure, but here comes Cheyenne Sellers with another three-point shot, it's no good off the rim. Briggs rebounds out to Alexander. Alexander gets that jump shot in. Also didn't like what she saw there, signaled to Nia Copeland to go back and pass that one in to Maddie Wilkie, instead of vice versa. Shramek, intended deep pass in for LaBarbera, but great play there Ooh. by Alexander. Abby Myers puts up that short jumper. Five seconds on the clock. To Myers, in the corner, to Alexander, and that shot is made just before the end of the half. And that buzzer beater there by Alexander. Now she's gonna break into the 20s. 21 points on the day so far for Cheyenne Sellers. Maddie Wilkie, pass across, intended for Williams. Great play by Alexander Masonis. Deep pass, two sellers. Absolutely, and it's so hard to work against Cheyenne Sellers, who's been dynamic all game so far. Alexander passes out to Miller. Miller, very deep three-pointer. That one's about two points past the, two feet past the three-point line. To Briggs. Masonis, Miller, Alexander, shot up, and that's made. Three-point shot there. Bye. They're going to be in contention here, <laughs> but in that span, it's going to be pretty much an impossibility. Stolen by Alexander. That does not help things. Here comes Pinzon. Pinzon tries to get the shot up, but she is blocked right there by Williams, but she's going to get called for a foul. That's been Nebraska's key to victory is terrific defense. There is Kroll with a nice fake. She drives and has it blocked by Miller. And 10 points in this first half for Diamond Miller. Yeah, you have to expect great players want big bounce back games. Knock down three pointer, Lavender Briggs. You know, I'm not going to lie as a coach, I'm not upset if a Nebraska kid yeah. gets just a little chippy. Just show some fight. Yeah, great feed down low, that bucket by Alexander. A lot more easily. But it's tough to lob that thing over, especially when that back line is coming. Great cut. Movement without the basketball. I mean, there are no excuses. I mean, you know what time the game is, you know who you're playing, you go over the scout, you get quizzed on the scout, you have to follow through. Another try, Myers will get it out. Alexander, one of the best three-point shooters in the Big Ten, sees her first one fall. 
You gotta fight for it. Abby Myers, look at all the people around her. She's like, well, who's open? Let me get it out of here, because there's nothing I can do. Got a 10 or 11 second difference, shot and game clock. Breast break, Myers, all day. Cheyenne Sellers, no different. Basket on the other side for Penn State. Sellers looking for two in a row. 26-16, Iowa in front. Sellers, nice look inside and the easy finish for Alexander. But in, Paul would still work with the post one day a week, so he worked with Stolke. He's now playing against Brenda Fries' Maryland Turks tonight. Sonis buries the little jumper. Seven points this afternoon. Five of them have come off of Maryland turnovers. And that's what Ohio State does. If you can get past that first level, as Abby Myers knocks down a three with the ball in her hand. She has only taken one shot in this game. That's the hot hand. They need a shot. Penzon's got to take it. It was tipped. They play on, but then tipped right back. Tyler's mom's team is doing well up 61-44. First of two meetings in the regular season for these two teams. Diamond Miller has been unstoppable in the third quarter. And Miller, 25 for the ball game, and this is a great pass by Brene Alexander. Flashing to the high post in this zone. Seventeen for her. Here she comes again. Great find. Night long by the Terps. And yes, indeed, fear the turtle and fear Cheyenne Sellers. Mila Reynolds, another freshman getting some playing time for the Terps. One of the best defensive teams in the country last year, and Myers was a huge part of that. Understands how to stop opponents. Hey, Alexander, a tough possession for two. McDaniel, good. Northwestern has left McDaniel wide open multiple times. Her eyes starting to look a little bit better. I mean, when she came first came back in the game, it was it was legitimately 70, 80 percent closed. This Maryland team has really started to come together at the right time. Green would give them 20 on the season. Now Odin, back to Cook. Cook driving, lost it, another turnover. Here comes Briggs. And now numbers for the Terrapins. Osmond trying to get back into play. Nice shot fake from Benet Alexander as she scores and got Parks to jump. Myers with the rebound and up for Pinzon. Now a three from Alexander, five points for her. Foul so far in this game. Eck into the paint, lost the ball. And Alexander was there to pick it up, a turnover for Michigan State. That's 15 on the game. Now Briggs misses the shot. And a. Alexander checked into the game, the floater is good. I mean, she's an <laughs> right. incredible player. She and Clark in their last game combined for 70 points against Maryland as there's another two for Brene Alexander. Clark and Sonano combined for 70 points in their meeting three weeks ago. They've combined for six only after the first quarter. Brene Alexander for the Terps, it's good. Martin's three is offline and Iowa's gone cold. They've missed five straight field goal attempts. Three balls are falling all over the place for the Terps. And bench production is huge. Brene Alexander for three right here. Lavender Bricks, they were starters in their previous programs. They understand what it means to have the ball in your hands. They understand these moments. Almost four minutes. Another open look for Alexander! This is exactly what Lisa Bluter's talking about. You don't have to come across and just start chucking. So right away, two shot opportunities, two quick shots. They're not forcing Maryland to defend. And Brene Alexander with her fourth three of the first half. They're trying to bring two, three, four red jerseys at her every time. 
But Kayla Clark just hasn't found the bottom of the net. I mean, it's just a matter of time. The game with her energy, and she's done it on both ends of the floor here tonight. Sonano gets the steal. Miller steals it back. Alexander. Take a break, Brene! Comes in, instant offense, and in transition, she was feeling it. Falter. Had it. Lost it. For points in a Big Ten game with 111 against Rutgers. They've scored 90 points or more 11 times. And yet they have not even 50 here. Alexander, her first look. She drains it. Alexander stepped right into that three and has got her second. Mike Sell up to seven points, three for five shooting. Alexander, that is three of three. One of five 1,000 point scores on this team. Alexander, another one, finds pins on. Beautiful basketball by the Terps. And I hope not the last time here at the shop. Renee Alexander will counter right back. Double double of the season, 17 points, 10 rebounds. In their win against Iowa, Abby Myers lines it up from three. I mean, these kids, they can you know, make shots like that, put it on TikTok and everything. Wow, well, I'm impressed. Renee Alexander, beautiful three. Setting that screen, and then she comes to get the ball. Oh. Abby Myers, she's just on the playground in this game, toying with the defense. Evened up here in the third quarter, but it was that second that did a whole lot of damage. A 30 to 9 run at one point, and Brene Alexander so smooth with her shot. Two seconds for Brene Alexander. She's got it. The mechanics on this triple, just watch it. So pretty in the boom ball. Both teams are playing with that supporting cast we were talking about at the beginning. Brene Alexander says, my turn. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. Maryland playing better here in the second quarter. And Brene Alexander, she's become a knockdown shooter.